I've been at Castle View since it opened in 2002, um, initially as a nurse, and I've been the home manager here since 2008. I've been uh, here since 2006. I've been a nurse uh, from 2006 till 2008, and then I became head of care at, in 2008. I'm a local girl. Um, I moved to Dorchester in the early 1980s. Um, always wanted to be a nurse, um, decided to stay local, so I did my training um, in Dorchester in the, the Dorset School of Nursing um, that was. Um, when I qualified, um, it was just through circumstance, job opportunities in the hospitals weren't there and a position came up in a, in a care home and I thought, you know, why not? I was driving the, the came on the radio, they were advertising for staff, so I applied, started working here as a night sister and um, sort of progressed through up to sort of the manager that I am today. I'm originally from South Africa. I qualified in, in South Africa um, and um, I got married and had a daughter. So I applied through an agency to, to come to the UK and I was encouraged by the agency to um, to apply to Colton Care because they were a family-run business and um, they would you know, c consider us as a family and, and help us through the transition. Um, often people see care homes as perhaps not a, a particularly good career choice. It's kind of seen as the Cinderella service maybe, um, but actually there is an awful lot that we can do, so I enjoyed it. You know, when I first came to, to the UK, I was actually told by a lot of friends in South Africa, they said, I can't believe that you're leaving the hospital to go and work in a nursing home uh, and, you know, it's care of the elderly. Uh, and I said, yeah, but it's a new challenge anyway. And I was quite surprised when I first came about the level of um, decision making that we had to make. A lot of the staff we recruit, um, yes, we advertise when we need staff, but a lot of it is word of mouth. They've heard that we're a good place to work for, we're a nice place to work, there are opportunities here. So often they will come and knock on our door and ask us if we have any positions available. There's quite a diverse group of, of, of staff within the home. It's not just nurses and carers, which is probably what people predominantly think. You have got your chef, your gardener, social carer, activity organiser, receptionist, your laundry staff, and they are all, everyone has a general induction, they're an induction into the company and, and to the running of the home, but then that, their, their training and their supervision is all very much channeled into their specific job roles. Um, people like, you know, the chefs are obviously specialists in, in their field. They are not just cooking food for 55 people, they're looking after people with quite specific dietary needs. So they have to be, they have to be experts in, in, um, in, what, they, in, in what they do. Um, there are opportunities to, le to learn and develop in every department within the home. The domestics can um, you know, they can achieve qualifications and again it's not just about the cleaning, they have to be able to, you know, they're looking after, again, looking after people with quite complex needs so they have to be able, they have to be good communicators, there are specific, they are, they are quite sort of specific things they have to learn within, within their job role, it's not just a case of coming in and, mm -hmm. and sort of hoovering and cleaning a room. I think the biggest thing that the nurses realise when they walk in here is actually they very much are in charge, they are like nurse-led units. They are making decisions, not just decisions about a resident's clinical need, a resident's their whole sense of well-being, mm -hmm. looking after relatives, looking after staff. It brings out the best in you if you're willing to work hard.